our stem cell family. <laughs> This recognition is going to all the stem cell patients that are here today. And on behalf of the Alliance, I thank you for coming and being here and celebrating with us. You are all true pioneers and you are all heroes to those that will follow in your path. I would like to share that um, I am also a stem cell patient. My journey in this is I started with the Alliance three years ago. And two years ago, I then began working with Regenocide Worldwide as a patient care coordinator. And I have been honored to work with so many of you. One year ago, January, I was treated for a neurological condition. And I can honestly and humbly tell you that I do not believe that I would be here today in this capacity if I had not had my stem cell treatment. So thank you, Docs. <laughs> and those of you that went before me and made it possible for me to have my treatment. So one at a time, I am going to introduce all the stem cell patients. I was treated for heart failure, and uh, I'm doing great. So thank you, Dr. Grecos. I was treated back in 09. Um, my ejection fraction went from a 10 to like a 43. And there's a great article in Men's Health magazine outlining my whole experience and it was in March of 2010. So take a look at it, it's a very good read. Thank you very much. I am uh, the 59th stem cell patient in the world. And uh, let me say this, I had a major heart attack. It's been almost nine years and uh, I'm very healthy today. I feel great. Um, without stem cells, I wouldn't be here. My wife would have been very disappointed. That would have been passed away by now. I encourage everybody to do stem cells. Uh, that's the way of the future. And um, I just don't know what else to say besides this is what the U.S. needs as well. In June of 2009, I had stem cell therapy, and uh, my ejection fraction was raised considerably, and it's uh, going to be five years this June, and uh, things are going perfect. I have a new life. I had stem cell treated. Six, six years ago, March 6th. And it, it was like night and day when the, the first day after I had the treatment and it's been fine ever since. I can't tell you how much good it's done for me. Uh, I'm still living, I think without the stem cell, I don't know whether I would have been living, but uh, it, it was such a, a good life after I had the treatment and uh, it really worked. It, I had heart failure uh, brought on by uncontrolled high blood pressure and sleep apnea. My ejection fraction was 7%. I had my treatment under Dr. Greco's in 2011. And um, I've gained a, a lot of function. I feel great. I mean, I had one foot in the grave when I first came to see Dr. Greco's. And I looked like death. I mean, I, I looked terrible. Um, Today I feel great and I want to thank my, my family and I want to thank Dr. Greco um, for giving me a new life, uh, especially my, uh, he gave me more quality time to spend with my 13 grandkids. So um, we are all thankful to uh, you guys. And my stem cell procedure was seven years ago, almost to the date. In April it'll be seven years. And the only thing I can basically say is it literally has changed my life. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Uh, I had the uh, stem cell uh, injection. It has been just fantastic. I would, I would suggest it to, to anyone, because the doctor kept asking me, well, how do you feel? You know, they do, you know, want, want me to give him a long, drawn-out deal about how I was feeling? And I told him, I said, well, it's to the point now 
that I can wake up in the morning and don't feel like I'm dying. And it's, it's been a slow progress, but a good one ever since that I'm still here. And I wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> or so my, so my cardiologist told me at the end of the year. And uh, well, I'm his wife, I could start crying. He's alive. <laughs> Thank you. After having had the procedure within a matter of hours, I wasn't needing the oxygen machine to breathe, and my oxygen levels rose very substantially from an 84 to into the mid-90 area. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. My oxygen levels stay between, as a general rule, between 90 and 94 percent. And I can't kick on that because I'm just, I was so used to before that to seeing my oxygen levels between 80 and 82, maybe 84, which you just don't live and survive at those later uh, figures. I highly recommend a stem cell procedure. He was pretty sick and we brought him home from the hospital and whatever and uh, he couldn't breathe. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to take him back to the hospital a couple of times because he just couldn't breathe. And we had the oxygen hoses strung all over the house. We had to carry the oxygen and stuff th throughout everywhere, everywhere we went. It was pulmonary fibrosis. Finally, we says, this is enough of this. We went to Santa Domingo and uh, he only used oxygen a little bit for maybe a week, week and a half or so when he come back. Now he does not have any oxygen at all. Um, and it's so such a relief. He can go out and do something. He can go out and get the mail. He can go to the other doctor's offices, go, go to the grocery store. He can even go shopping with me now. And it's, it's a relief. He can breathe. I was treated in 09 by Dr. Berkowitz for pulmonary fibrosis. And had it not been for that treatment, I would not be here today. Thank you. I had stem cell therapy in February of 09. And uh, within two months after that, my pulmonary function test shot way up into the normal range, which is where it has stayed ever since. I'm doing extremely well, um, no complaints whatsoever, and I'm in love with Dr. Grecos. Thank you for having us here. I'm living with cystic fibrosis and had many expected death dates starting at the age of two from the conventional doctors and now I'm 53. My last expected funeral date was about June of 2011 but about a month before that Dr. Grecos gave me my first stem cell treatment and literally brought me back from the dead and uh, looking forward to uh, more life with uh, the stem cell treatments. Dr. Grecos, amazing man, a blessing from God. Uh, but I just, all the, the thanks and Honor and glory goes to these guys, Dr. Grecos and his team. I'd like to, I'd like to mention a, a story, if I may. Uh, Angelo said that he would blog for us um, about his recovery. And it had been several months. He did one. It was fabulous. It was beautifully done. And I call him up. I'm like, where's the blogs? We're waiting. We're waiting. Where are the blogs? And he said, Kelly, I'm so sorry, but I'm busy living. <laughs> you can, uh, Angelo DeStefano.com is my blog. There's a lot of stuff that's journaled there over the last three years. You're welcome to go there and, and read about it. Thank you. My buddy Nemo had stem cell done about nine, ten years ago, and he got Dr. Greco's to give me a chance to get it done, and it's done miracles. As you can see, I'm standing up now, something I wasn't able to do three years ago. I'm just happy to be here, and they're going to have a good time. Yeah, 25 years he's been in that chair, or 28 years. I just want to say thank you to Dr. Greco's too. He's given me a new life. After my first treatment, I lost my spasms. That was like a blessing. And today, I'm playing three sports. Not drinking, not smoking. I take care of myself. And that's the main thing. Thanks, Dr. And I was in a car accident four years ago, and I'm supposed to be paralyzed from the waist down. No, from the chest down, I'm sorry. And about last year, maybe a little bit over a year ago, I decided to go to the Dominican and get the stem cell done. And the results have been great. 
not as fast as I want them to go, but I'm not a very patient person, so. Well, since this time last year, I've lost 30 pounds, which is great, and I'm able to transfer in and out of bed on my own, and I'm able to get dressed on my own. And those were two goals that you wanted. You wanted to be able to transfer independently and to be able to dress yourself on your own. So I think that's awesome. But I definitely want to thank all the doctors that have helped me out. And I will never forget, as soon as I was going into the surgery room, Dr. Zaria looked at me and said, are you ready for your new life? And that just made me so happy. And I can't even imagine not getting it done. And I want to thank you guys so much for everything you've done. Dr. Hector Rosario. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for all, all of you. Really, I want to say thank you to Dr. Sanos Grecos, who showed me a new world. Like the father says a few minutes ago, we are touching today untouchable things with people. And so, thank you for letting me stay with you, taking care and participating in this miracle change in the medicine today. Thank you. I'd like to present to you Dr. Eduardo Mejia. happy of receiving this recognition. As Kelly said, I'm one of the newest members and I feel this, this day is one of my happiest days of the happiest days of my life. I haven't seen so many patients <coughs> happy about the procedure that we are doing and the lives we are saving. So I'm very, very happy to be here. Thank you all. Yes, sir. I'd like to honor Dr. Sanos Grecos. <laughs> it's important because it really did all start with love. Love for a parent, love for a loved one, and to be able to pass that along a spark, a passion that's going to spread throughout the world. Uh, and everything starts small. And in the words of somebody very famous, you know, the longest journey starts with the first step. And that was the first step, and that was in 2006. And then every single one of the patients that we've treated is another step. We learn with everything that we do. We do it with good intentions and a pure heart. Doctors that are involved and myself, we have to say to ourselves, are we doing the right thing? I mean, we have to question. And then I look around, or I get a call, or I see somebody that we've treated, and God sends me an answer. He says, keep going. So that's what we're all doing. Uh, this is amazing. Every time that I see a patient, some, I ask myself, why has God chosen this patient to be treated? I don't have the answer to that. I'm hoping that you all do. So find that answer, and take that responsibility, and pass it forward, just like Howie said. I think it's very, very important. I want to thank all of you so much for coming. What's remarkable to, to me is that I see what the doctors are doing and by unlocking the, the, the power and the potential of the stem cells and, and coming to an increasing understanding of how that all works, I really see the hand of God. I just do. And I wish them all just great wisdom and great knowledge as they bring greater healing into the world and I'm very grateful to God to see all the people here who have been healed by the hand of God and the wisdom of these doctors. Thank you.